Hi everyone. Welcome to the series of price action video. So this is the video which uh, where I'll be talking about double or triple top pattern. Okay. So let's see how these patterns are formed first. Okay, double bottom or triple bottom pattern. What is the reason behind their formation? The price, how does it moves? It moves like this, right? And at one point it will go here and it will come back like this. There will be some kind of resistance at this level. Don't mind the drawings. And then again, it will go up and it will take resistance from there and it will start falling down. And once it breaks this, it will fall. So that's how double top pattern forms. And if there is a triple uh, top pattern, how is it going to form? It will go here, then come back, then again it will go and then it will start falling like this. So that's how double top or triple top and triple top pattern forms. Okay, so this is the basic of the formation of the double top uh, pattern. Now I'll tell you one more thing. So the perfect double top pattern is nothing but the M. How there are other ways of it forming as well. It will, it may form like this as well. It may form like this as well. It is going to form like this as well. So here, when you have to take the trade, when it is breaking this neckline, okay? So this neckline or the trend line, you can say, which will be having more number of support point. Okay, this one, whenever it is going to break, whenever it is going to break, we can, we'll be going to take the entry. Now let's go to chart and find out when can we take the entry. Okay, so let's go to chart and we'll see. What can you see over here, this area? It is forming a double top pattern. It made a top, again came down, made a top. And it came till here. So if you'll see here, there are many support points at this point of time, right? So until and unless these supports are not getting broken, we are not going to take the entry. Now here, if you'll see, it broke this level. Now we can take the entry. Most of the time, or the most of the people do this thing only, right? So now this support is broken. Here also, if this is a perfect, it has broken. Now we can take the entry at this point of time. 1677, it gave good amount of 1670, almost seven rupees of profit. It gave, after that, it reversed back. Now, if you would have heard from somewhere, always take the, entry after retest. Now, how are you going to identify the retest? Before going, uh, for, uh, proceeding further, I, I'll tell you one more thing. Always draw these kind of patterns in 15 minutes time frame, higher the time frame, higher the number of accuracy. Okay. If you're drawing in 30 minutes, the accuracy will be more. Now, what do you have to do? We have to go and check in three minutes time frame, the ACC, Okay, now I'm going to check the three in three minutes time frame ACC and we'll see how is it performing and your the date is 5th November. So we'll go to 5th November and we'll see where we can take the entry. So if you'll see here, it has been forming from here, it went till like this. Right, now we'll zoom in. This is a three minute. We'll see when it is breaking it. Once here also it was broken, but we cannot take the entry. This showed a rejection towards downtrend. We can't take the entry. Perfect breakout happened. Next candle also is good enough. We can take the entry at 1680 and it has given us 10 points. Good enough. Now, Whenever there is a breakout, there is always a retest time. It retested it once again. And if you'll know, this is a bearish pin bar. Now your actual entry is at 
1679. Now, what is your target going to be? Target is going to be where it had started. 1662 is our target. Now, when you took the entry from here, 1678 or 79, from well, it has fallen till 1650. So almost 30 rupees of profit it has given after the retest. So that's the power of retest. <clears throat> Sometimes it does not retest also. It may not happen now. If I uh, go and see here, it may not retest all the time. There is, there is nothing like necessity that it has to retest all the time. No, there is nothing like that. It will retest most of the time. If I have to say, if you'll see 10 or uh, 10 double top pattern, you'll find out eight patterns are retesting it. Retesting, it will be retesting it in one minute time frame or three minutes time frame. Okay. So if you are in 15 minutes, check in three minutes and one minute time frame. Once it has retested, take the entry. And always take the entry in on the retest when it is forming this kind of candle, bearish pin bar or bearish engulfing pattern. Okay. So that is about the double top pattern. Now we will go and check another one as well. Okay. So let's have a look at some other stock. Now there is one more pattern forming in Hero Motor Corp. It has made a top here, top here, and th this is the neckline. Okay. Now, where can we take the entry? This is the neckline. Uh, this is the top which has been formed. Neckline is this one. This is a, a 15 minutes time frame, if you'll see. And this is three minutes time frame. Now, where we'll take we'll be taking entry? Always at retest. We'll see now when it is breaking this neckline or the support point here. After that, again, it retested this area. Now, closely look at this size. Okay, it retested bearish pin bar market fell. Again, retook support from here, retested, fell down. Good. By this time, if you'll see here, again, one double top pattern is kind of making it. See here. See, the double top pattern can be made in any situation. This is in three minutes. Now, this is known as actually higher, uh, lower high and lower low. I'll explain you. Just wait. High made. It is once again, it made a low. Again, this high is lower than this high. And it made one low. Okay, good. Till now, I, I believe you would have understood. Now, again, it made a high which is lower than this. It has made a low. Once again, it retested this area, your entry is right here at 337. It retested made a low made a high which is lower than this previous high. Started falling down, made this bearish candle, you could have taken entry at 337 and it gave you fall down 337 to 3291 by 330. I'm not talking about the time, but yeah, it gave almost 40 rupees of profit. So this is the benefit of taking the entry in higher uh, on the retest and based on the time frames. Now if you'll see here, I'll just erase this. Now, if I go in check in higher time frame, this was of 15th October. Yeah. Now, if you'll see here, it has made M pattern or double top pattern in higher time frame at 3299 as well. This is our neckline which has been forming. Now I am going to uh, not this. Okay. Made a neckline. If you'll see here, started moving up. No issues. It is nothing but retesting in this area. Retested this once again. If you'll see in when it was trying to break uh, the scandal, you'll see here it went. Let's 
zoom in at uh, what is the time here 9:45 19th october 9:45 19th october somewhere it was retesting this area gave a breakout fine retested this area now it has retested this area and we can take entry at right this point of time this is th uh, our 3 minute time frame and this is 50 uh, we will go and check in 5 minutes time frame because for 30 minutes we have to check in 5 minutes time frame and even in 3 minutes we will confirm from both or all the time frame for our perfection okay so the date is 15th october yeah fine See here, give a breakout, it retested at, in that scene and from here we could have taken entry at 3286 and from 3286 it fell, if I have to see on the same day, three from 38286 it has fallen till, okay it has fallen more, 3286, see, almost 60 points it has fallen. So this is the power of retest when you are taking entry in on retest. And if you, let's say you saw this uh, in time frame, okay, it, you took the trade. So there are chances obviously that your stop loss will be getting hit if your stop loss is uh, somewhere here. But yeah, the next question should be where you have to put the stop loss. So. If you are taking entry in, let's say three minutes or five minutes, anywhere time frame. Now, where are you going to take the stop loss? That's the most important question everyone asks. That if you are taking entry somewhere, how are you going to put the stop loss? So stop loss is always. Now here, if you'll see, I have taken entry at this point of time, retested this area. My stop loss is three two eight zero. My stop loss is going to be just above this which is nothing but 3294 15 rupees i'm risking here for getting 30 rupees 3280 my target is 3250 entered at what point 32 sorry 1054 or 1051 i entered my target got hit at one o'clock almost it took one point and a half hour it's fine but our target got hit because obviously the target is of 30 points, it is going to take some time. So that's how you have to take the entry. Always take on the retest for better confirmation or the better accuracy. Okay. Now we'll see just one more stock and now the next one is a CLT. Okay, this is 15 minutes time frame, and I had told you this kind of pattern also is formed. And here in this case, the neckline is going to be like this. Okay, so this is 15 minutes time frame. It gave a breakout. Okay, from someone would have entered at 8.27, got good enough, 20 points. Okay, by 11 o'clock, they got it, fine. There is, but if you'll see after here, it retested this area. And in 15 minutes time frame itself, it is making a rejection towards uptrend. So your actual entry should be at 8.25 at 11.48, five. And from here, if you'll see it going down till this level, at least so 800, it should be going down. Let's find out. So it touched around 808. Okay, fine. No issues. If you'll see here in three minutes time frame, it touched this point again, retested. We could have entered it right here to good bearish pin bar came and we entered at 827. And how, and how much we got? Till if you'll see, by the end of that day, we got almost 17 points, isn't it? So that's the power of retest. Always take entry on the retest only. Don't just take entry once this is broken and you'll start taking the entry. There will be a reversal as well, which is nothing but a confirmation of the entry. Yes, after reversal, if it is again falling, then take the entry. So that's how you have to trade. And uh, yeah, so that is one of the advanced concepts you should be knowing those who know.
those who have watched the video till here go and back test whatever the price action you know and that's how it is going to help you a lot thank you so much for watching till here i hope you like the content and this video the whatever i have told you that for the retest what do you have to do thank you so much